Hallelujah, praise the Lord. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are welcome. If this is your first time seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray it blesses you in the name of Jesus. And if this is not your first time, thank you family for always coming back. I am here because you are out there. I am here because I know that I've got to serve you. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Thank you for your words of prayers, your words of encouragement i do receive them with a heart filled with gratitude i have an amazing word today from the lord for us five rare things god is gonna do when he wants you to stay away from someone or when he wants you not to let someone get into your life or when he wants you to avoid someone the lord laid this teaching in my heart and i want to share with us because i know that so many times we are victims of people's reactions we are victims of people's um personalities and god we want to protect us by not letting those people come into our lives rather than us coming back to him later to 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 pray to him to heal for him to heal our hearts god will want us to prevent those situations from happening rather than us coming back to him to pray that he heals our heart either this could be a relationship or just a romantically involved relationship or just maybe a friendship that has nothing to do with the romantic attraction but god is giving us this sign if we see them then it means do not let this person come close to you if they are already in your life avoid them stay away from them because they're gonna hurt you the first sign i received is that if somebody if you received a bad report about them maybe they're just getting to maybe get into your life or something and all you heard about them were bad reports stay away from them they are going to hurt you eventually yes it is true that people do change everybody can change but until you have a sign that they have changed they are a danger to you stay away from them they are just gonna hurt you eventually they might come around you and just pretend but it should long lived it should not just be a one day or two day thing their change should be long lived then you can know that seriously they have been a change without which you should stay away from them be them being in your life is just a risk you're going to get hurt eventually we the bible says in the book of acts chapter 9 i'm going to read from acts chapter 9 verse 13. this is a report about paul or saul turned to paul we know we all know who saul was he was he was one who persecuted the christians he even took letters from the authorities so he could go and persecute christians it was loud and clear he had a bad report towards the christian it was clear it was evident nobody could argue that but he changed eventually and his change was so clear nobody could argue with it this in 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 acts of the apostle chapter 9 verse 13 we see a diff, we see his 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 initial version verse 13 but lord exclaimed ananias i have heard about the terrible things this man has done to believers in jerusalem the terror that was the first report we have of, we had of him now let's go to verse 21 and see what it says all who heard him were amazed all who heard paul were amazed isn't this the same man who persecuted jesus jesus's followers so bitterly in jerusalem they asked and we understand that he came here to arrest them all and take them in chains to the chief priest these were the reaction of people who saw Paul in his later stage when he had changed. Until you see this kind of report, until you hear this kind of report about someone that you had a bad report on, please do not call, let them come into your life. They are a danger to you. They will hurt you eventually. Another sign that if you see it's time for you to run away or God is telling you to stay away from this person is if you catch them in a lie that you would never have done that naturally in a way that you know that this is god's orchestration god orchestrated me to catch him in this life people can lie from from time to time but they later tell us the truth and we can always forgive them but when somebody tells a lie and doesn't ever have and does not have a plan to ever telling you the truth about it or asking for forgiveness about it and you catch them god makes it in such a way that you catch them and the way you even catch them you could never have done that god just orchestrated a plan for you to catch them that is just a sign from god that he wants you to stay away those people are a danger to your life stay away from them do not ignore the signs if you catch someone telling you a kind of lie that you would naturally not have caught them or they did not even plan to ever tell you the truth about it know that that is god's way of exposing them to you stop that relationship 
end it at that level because if you continue they are going to hurt you eventually another way you know that someone is a danger to you and god does not want you around them is when maybe you've put in everything you you have in place to be together but god keeps frustrating it you do everything within your power for you both to be together god keeps blocking it he keeps restricting you two from coming together maybe maybe that is a sign that god does not want them in your life it is true that sometimes there are just obstacles you have to surmount to get into a good relationship but when every attempt for you to maybe get you guys together keeps being frustrated and it is backed by a corresponding discernment of you not having trust for the person or you having doubts in your heart that is a sign one of the greatest gifts God has given to us is the gift of discernment we can be able to discern good and evil after doing everything to be with that person it keeps being frustrated God keeps blocking it and you feel in your heart that you feel that danger sign in your heart you feel you can discern that God does not want this for me that is a sign to let you know that that person is a danger to your life they are going to hurt you eventually believe your intuition stop fighting to come together there are times when you've got to fight you to get your relationship to another level you've got to fight to even be in a relationship with someone maybe the fighting is a test of love or a proof of love but there are times when the holy spirit imprints it in your heart that this person is not the right one for you you keep feeling that that sign of danger that is a sign do not go for that. Do not let these people close to you. They are going to hurt you eventually. Another sign to know that you shouldn't be around someone is if, as a Christian, you are around someone who has openly rejected Jesus, has openly rejected Christ. It is difficult to find these people because when somebody knows that you've given your heart to Christ, they always try to come to you. Even if they don't like Jesus, they don't, they don't like God, they always try coming to you to telling you maybe they love God, they want to change, they have prospects to change, they start trying to maybe, even though it's a lie, they might be lying about it, but they will not come out rightly and tell you they don't believe in Jesus. They will try to let you know that they are willing to believe in Jesus. They might want to follow you to church, want to tell you, maybe tell me a little about your God, but their actions, is, their, their actions are not going to correlate. They will be saying one thing with their mouth, but their actions are different. Their actions will sell them out. They'll be saying they want to know your God, but their actions, maybe they are stopping you from going to church. They're trying to get you into premarital sex. They are trying to get you into drugs and all of that. Their actions are contrary to what they are saying. That is even different. But when you meet someone who tells you outrightly, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in his supremacy, in his sovereignty. I don't believe that he died and was resurrected and now is seated with, with God the Father on the truth. I don't believe in Jesus. They have told you that categorically. Run run because those are dangers to your life they are just going to hurt you because they don't have the same belief system as you they are going to hurt you if someone can be bold enough to tell you they don't believe in jesus they don't believe in your christianity it is a danger sign stay away from them these are some of the danger signs i received about not letting someone come into your life the signals that when you see them you should run away because those people are a danger to you if this video was able to help you if this content added a little more into your life and you're not yet part of this family please kindly consider to subscribe and become part of us so that you can get our notifications you can know when we are live to pray and all of that thank you so much for watching till the end god bless you amazingly shalom Thank you.